Welcome back to the next episode of my Great Guitar Build-Off Community Build project where we are building a custom Telecaster. And in the last episode, we milled up this neck blank. Now, I need to cut a scarf joint in it because I'm going to do a scarf joint with a tilt back headstock on this one. Um, it's only really going to be Telecaster in shape and then I'm going to put my own flare on it. So, I've marked out where I need to cut that scarf joint. Uh, my method for that was to figure out my headstock template, the space that I needed on the end of the neck for that, mark that line, and then work my angle back across it. Now, there's a lot of different ways you can cut this scarf joint. Um, personally, I would prefer to have a good table saw set up, put this in a sled, and send it through the table saw at the right angle. However, as you can tell, I'm not at the shop that I was at in the last episode. I'm back at my shop. My table saw is not really set up for that. It doesn't uh, cut accurately enough for that. And I also don't have a sled for that. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to whip out the Ryoba saw and cut this by hand. So let's get to work. I'm going to grab the earbuds, throw some music on, clamp this down somehow, get the saw and start cutting this. So let's get to work. Okay, that went pretty good. Actually, better than I thought it was going to. So you saw I started that cut with the dovetail saw just to establish a nice straight, um, you know, parallel cut. The dovetail saw is a little bit better at that than the Ryoba. The Ryoba tends to be a little flexible because it's a pull saw. Um, now, those of you that are asking, what is a scarf joint? So what I've done is I took our neck blank, I cut this end of it off, and then I'm gonna flip that over and glue it on this way so that the headstock has that tilt back angle that a lot of guitars have. Not all guitars have them, some do, some don't. I prefer a tilt back headstock, and to me, this is the best way to do it. So that's what I've done is I've cut this off at an angle, 10 degrees, and then I'll lay that headstock back at a 10 degree angle. Some guitars that use a scarf joint will lay, lay it back to 13, some to nine. I prefer 10 just because it's a nice even number to go with and it's easy to mark 
on my on my compass to find that. Now, as far as how that cut went, as you can see, I'll hold this up right here. Dead on the line on that side. Dead on the line on the other side. A little bit of a curve off the end of there. So from there, I'm going to set this up with some clamps. We're going to clamp it just like this. And then I'm going to use a plane and straighten that out and make it all nice and, and square and flat and perfect. And then this thing will glue back together. Now, is that good enough? No, I can't leave well enough alone. So what I plan to do is instead of just gluing this back together in a typical scarf, I've got this piece of leftover Wenge and Purple Heart that came from another build. And what I want to do is I want to cut a square out of this that is that size right there. And then we're going to glue this in there and then glue the scarf together so that we have a little accent strip in that scarf. And I think after I carve the radius in the back of the neck and the volute, it'll come out looking really cool. So we're going to cut a piece of this out and then we're going to use this along with some veneer strips because we did those veneer strips in here. We might as well do them on that too. So I need to clean this up with the hand plane. I need to cut a square out of that piece of scrap, grab some veneer strips, cut those to the right length, get this all glued up. That's the goal for tonight. So let's get to work.
Okay guys, we got this all clamped up. So I ended up drilling a couple holes and putting a couple nails in there to locate it for like a dowel basically. I don't have any small wooden dowels on hand so I just used a couple small nails. The hardest part about gluing up a scarf joint like this is that you're clamping things at an angle and they want to slide apart when you apply pressure to it. So it helps to put a dowel in there to locate it so it can't slide apart. I've got this all clamped up. We'll let this dry and then we'll come back to this. The next steps is going to be uh, routing a truss rod slot in this, maybe start working on the headstock shape and rough carving that. And then we're going to have to start moving on to the fretboard. So uh, we'll let this dry and then we'll come back at it in the next video. If you guys enjoyed this one, give it a thumbs up, share it with all your friends. Uh, make sure you subscribe, like, comment, all that stuff. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot.